Hey all Ryan here from Planetary Laboratory, and welcome to another episode of Slab and Sundays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, cut them into slabs so I can use those slabs for cabochons and jewelry and other things. So the first one I'm going to do this week is this kind of basalt with all of these quartz inclusions, some little bit of staining, um, but it's got a cool shape this way. So I'm going to cut slabs out this way, I think, and try to get some cool shaped slabs out of there as many as I can. I think it'll be cool on the inside as long as it shines up okay and a lot of that white's in there. And the second one we got, you know, I want to say it's yellow jasper, but I don't know. It, you know, it's got some churdy qualities, it's got some jaspery qualities, and then it's got these bands in the top of it. Like you can see all those bands, I'm not 100% sure, maybe some micro pockets in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut slabs out of it this way. And try to get at least two or three good ones in there and maybe it'll have this banding on the top of them and it'll be really really good slabs but we won't find out till we get in there so let's get the six inch trim saw set up and we'll get slabbing Okay, so I am through that first one. It was just a very oddly shaped piece, so they all kind of went a little wonky on me. But I actually like the shape where they're thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top anyways for talismans, and it just gives them a little bit of character. So let's see what is inside. Ooh, kind of went really dark. You can still kind of see some of that stuff. And right, let's see the first slab. Uh, yeah, not bad. It's got a nice black and green kind of contrast and a good shape already. So I could, you know, see how that stuff shines up. Maybe that'll pop out a little bit when they're shined up. Right, second one. Yeah, a little bit more green, a little stripe in there. Starting to get a little more on that side. Oop, dropped it. <clears throat> Didn't break. That's good. Uh, so yeah, a little bit more on that one. So let's see the third one went a little thicker with it yeah so it's got some green and black contrast i did kind of that's kind of what i was expecting i was hoping there'd be a little bit more white in there but i'd say one for one so let's get on to that second one Okay, so <laughs> this thing went way wonky on me. I don't know, maybe I'm just not feeling it today. I did get a couple slabs out, but I'm going to wait for these next ones. I can still get some stuff out of these. They're a little thin, but they actually should be pretty cool anyways. Oh, so there's the end, and I'll actually be able to get something out of that too, but look at that. It almost does look like Jasper in there. And it's got those bands running through the top and then some white running through. So here's my first messed up slab. But it's actually got really good patterning there still. It's a little thin. Yeah, it cracked right in the middle. So I have that crack. But I might be able to salvage it yet. You know, like I might be able to cut it off right here. And then use that as like a teardrop pattern. Actually, that's a really good idea. I probably will do that. And then here's the second one. So there's the other chunk of that. Oh yeah, really cool. Not 100% sure if that's banded chert and this is Jasper, or if maybe that's some like, I don't know, stromatolite patterning or something. Then here's the end and I'll be able to get some more slabs off, but not today, I'm just not feeling it, I guess. But yeah, that's really, really cool. I'm glad those bands all stayed in the top there. So I'll be able to get some, at least a couple pieces out of that, you know, those sides of it. That's a really cool pattern. Really cool color too. I don't find much that's that like yellowish, orangish color. All right, so I think two for two, even though I wonked this one up. But if you like this video, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.